So DC Fandom just released a sneak peek to the Suicide Squad made by James Gunn. They showed the whole cast earlier. A lot of them already slipped through my mind because it's a giant ass team and I'm not trying to get attached to nobody. The only ones I was so sure that was going to be on this Suicide Squad team was King Shark, Harley Quinn, Captain Boomerang. And if you want to count Amanda Waller, then her too. Everybody else I was not expecting. Not expecting one bit. So yeah, let's react to the sneak peek trailer. Or not sneak peek trailer, sneak peek on set of the Suicide Squad. Let's react to it. And we'll play now. I think it's gonna surprise people. You kind of sit there and go, how did they do that? Idris Alba. Let so Idris Alba play more bad guys, please. Made. So good, such a good actor. Harley no Quinn's costume looks world, amazing. The Suicide Squad. Then James Gunn. I was James Gunn got this in the bag. Do the Suicide Squad Guardians in the of the Galaxy could be is done, like my point of view. in my top this five Marvel films unique. of all time. This is a gritty 1970s war movie combined Ooh. with the brilliance of James Gunn's characters and comedy. We need your director to set the vibe. The Suicide Squad is oh, just a twisted you know, fantasy the of characters. Within each Ooh, of the our characters, part. there's a certain Love beauty. It. Within most of them. Some oh, of them weasel. are just pretty crappy through and through. Be like a douchey Captain America. The guy douchey who Captain believes America. in peace at any cost, no matter how many people he needs to kill. Leave it to John way. Cena to wear like the tightest clothes. It. No padding, because he's so buff like already. You know where this is going, because you don't. As soon as you have some sense about what's about to happen next, James comes in. No! Everyone is exploding, genitals, heads, arms, legs. It's like a big, massive graphic novel brought to life. Judging from this, this is already looks the amazing. biggest movie I've ever made. Look at that. Oh my I god. I don't think that you know what to expect. Don't get too attached. This has been truly the greatest, most exciting journey of my life making this film. I want to know who's the main. Cut. Who cut. is the main target? Who is the bad guy? That was not oh, only in theaters 2021. Great trailer. Great, great, great trailer. I... It wasn't a trailer. Sneak peek. Like the sneak peek, I want to know who is the main overall bad guy. Or like the threat. Or who they had to like, take down. It's very, very interesting. And shit... Would it have been surprising if Boomerang was the one, like, they have to take down? Looks great. Apparently, the film is coming out on August 6th, or was that the confirmation? August 6th, 2021. Only in theaters. It made sure it was in big, bold letters. Only in theaters. And that's straight to video. So, hopefully, we're alive and we have the vaccine during, you know, the pandemic. <sighs> yeah. What are your thoughts on that sneak peek? Like, subscribe. I got more reactions coming out today. If there's a Suicide Squad trailer, the the video game. If there's a Black Adam trailer, you know there's gonna be a sneak peek trailer for the Snyder Cut. Gotta react to the Snyder Cut. Like I said many times, I love the Justice League movie. I didn't hate it, and but now we get to see Snyder's vision on the film longer, thick with content. How can you hate that? How can I hate something about a movie that I already enjoyed? Now it's just being enhanced. So it's a win-win for me, boy. Yeah, like, subscribe. Have a good day.